Hicks has led this school with his heart. He has promoted the three C's, character, commitment, and community, and nowhere is that more evident than in the students who sit before you tonight. Although he lives in Monroe, he calls Colonia his home. It is a great, great pleasure to introduce to you our principal, Mr. Kenneth Beach. Welcome everybody, first and foremost, uh, to the parents. All right, what an incredible job you've done with these students, uh, these young adults in their high school careers. Um, I'd like to thank Dr. Massimino, uh, members of Cole have only been supportive of Dr. Massimino for being here this evening. Board of, member, uh, Board of Education members, Mr. Trebosser, comes to almost all of our events. Ms. Perez, we welcome you to Colonial High School tonight. And unfortunately, Mr. Sedana, could not be with us this evening. I'd like to give a shout out and thank you to our tremendous faculty at Colonia High School, which hopefully have done everything they can do to make these students as successful as they are in preparing for the futures. My administrative team, Ms. Vichiera, all right, who is going above and beyond this year, all right, helping us out and doing as many different things to challenge our kids. Ms. Souza, in her first year as the National Armor Society advisor, making sure that Colonia High School meets all the bylaws and standards of the national chapter so that we can have our chapter here. And last but not least, to these inductees. Obviously, when you think about National Honor Society, you think about their academic achievements and scholarships, and you're gonna hear a lot tonight about the different pillars that these students have to achieve in order to be considered members by that national uh, chapter to be in the National Honor Society. To me as a principal, the one pillar that stands out most importantly throughout the entire school year is the pillar of leadership. Our school year would not have gone off as well as it did this year without the leadership of our senior class and these two year inductees behind me and the things they were able to accomplish and push and challenge themselves through this entire school year. And what I want to pay forward to is the new inductees that are juniors to make sure that your leadership carries on the rich tradition of Colonia High School uh, to keep us at the forefront. Obviously, in the National Honor Society chapter is probably one of the most important chapters you think about with honor societies, but we are very, very privileged to have nine honor societies here at Colonia High School. So once again, congratulations to each and every one of you for your achievements and meeting all these pillars and success, I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Patrick, you're Our next speaker is a lifelong resident of Woodbridge Township having attended our public schools from kindergarten until his graduation from John F. Kennedy Memorial High School in 1997. In 2001, he received a Bachelor of Arts degree in American Studies with a minor in Political Science from Rutgers University. After working in the scheduling and advanced department for the governor's office, Dr. Massimino began his teaching career in 2002 at Woodbridge High School as a teacher of social studies. In addition to teaching, he also coached baseball and served as an inter internal coordinator for Middle States. He received his master's degree in educational administration and supervision from Keene University in 2004 and was promoted to department supervisor of social studies and world languages in 2009. In 2010, he was promoted to principal of Claremont Avenue Elementary School number 20 Dr. Massimino received his doctoral degree in educational administration from Rutgers University in 2014, where his research focused on the reference of faculty and trust and student achievement. In 2018, he was appointed as the assistant superintendent for human resources before his current appointment to the superintendent of schools in July of 2021. Dr. Massimino is an active volunteer in several youth organiza sports organizations and enjoys spending time with his wife and two children.
Dr. Massimino. Patrick, thank you for that introduction. I don't write my speeches down. I like to speak from the heart. I want to try to keep it brief. I hear my son and my daughter in my ear telling me, Dad, you talk too much. So first things first, I want to thank all of the parents, uh, family, and friends. I do believe everything we do starts at home. So thank you. Your presence here speaks to the commitment you have to your children. I want to thank Mr. Pace, the entire administration, uh, the faculty advisors, Mr. Souza, everybody that has a hand in putting this together. I, I was an honor society advisor when I was uh, a teacher at Woodbridge High School. It was one of the hardest yet most rewarding jobs I had. Um, I know what goes into getting everybody set up, lined up, getting the candles done, the lighting, the view, everything. So, so thank you for all your efforts. Uh, here's what I want to say to you as students. Being inducted, your second year of induction, you know all of the challenges that you had to meet to get here. The four pillars, you're well aware of that. I'm, I'm not going to belabor that point. You have that. I want to talk to you about what it looks like moving forward, and I have a challenge for you. Pressure is a privilege. It's what I tell my children every day. Pressure is a reminder that what you're about to do is important, or what you're about to do matters. Pressure is what you make of it. I say pressure is a privilege because you can do two things with privileges. You can enjoy them, like a license, and you can suspend them, like a license. You have the ability to take pressure and make it work for you. You have the ability to put it to the side. You have the ability to pause, but only you have that ability. Nobody, your teachers, the professors you'll have in college, your parents, your family, your friends, nobody can reach inside of you and pull the pressure out. You, and only you, have the ability to manage it. You understand pressure because you met all the requirements to be in this honor society, and it's not easy. So therein lies my challenge to you. I challenge you to find balance. I think in today's world, the one thing we lack is the ability to disagree and move forward and make progress. The art of the compromise, the art, the art of dialogue, is not what it once was. I challenge you to find balance because if you can find it within yourself, then you can share it. And I believe you have that ability. What does that look like? It means when you need to make a phone call because you're not sure, make the phone call. It means when you're not sure and you have a question, ask the question. It means when you need to take a break, take a break. I told one group of students, when you're tired, take a nap, and the parents yelled at me, so I'm not going to say that again. And as the father of two teenagers, I agree with them. I don't think we have to tell you that sleeping is, is a problem. Finding balance is what's going to allow you to meet the next level of whatever your goals are. We don't have enough of it because we don't work at it. Find the time to give yourself leisure. Find the time to give yourself family time. When you go to college, call home. And not just to say, my laundry has to get done, or I'm out of money. It's important that we maintain the relationship, relationships we've created, and it's important to continue fostering new ones. That only happens when you're open-minded, and being open-minded only happens when you're balanced. I challenge you to find that because you are the best and brightest we have. Our future is in your hands, and that gives me great pride, great joy, and great optimism. Because if you are the ones that are in charge of the future, it's bright. It's welcoming. It's positive. You know how to work hard. You know how to be leaders. You know how to provide service. I want you to find balance. And within that balance, there is happiness that you will share and you will make this world a better place because you've already started the process. I want to thank the parents for coming out tonight. It's awesome to see people coming in with balloons and flowers and celebrating this.
because we have to take time to celebrate the achievements. It's not on to the next, and I am an absolute on to the next kind of person. This was great, now let's go. And I didn't celebrate things until I had children. And then I realized the importance of taking a million pictures, which your parents are going to do, so smile, and sitting down and having dinner, which doesn't happen enough, because it matters. I'm beyond proud to be here. It's an honor to work with your children. They are a true gift to our community. I thank you and congratulate all of our inductees tonight. Have a good evening. Mr. Pace, Mrs. DiChiera, Mr. Trigwasser, Ms. Perez, Dr. Massimino, Ms. D'Souza, family and friends of this year's inductees and current members. The candle lighting ceremony is one of the oldest traditions of the National Honor Society. To my left is a lit candle representing the eternal light of knowledge. Surrounding the lit candle are four unlit candles representing character, leadership, scholarship, and service. Each of our four current officers will light one of these candles and convey their feelings on one of these traits. We'll begin with our president, Joe Palladino. Everyday scholarship is a commitment to learning and growing on an educational path, such as not dripping the wax when you light a candle. It means making the most of the educational opportunities provided and seeking out learning, not only in school or in a similar setting, but personally. Everyday scholarship doesn't require a minimum GPA, but it does require effort. More importantly, it stems from a desire to contribute to this world in a positive way, by building on one's own knowledge, skills, and talents through different experiences. John. Everyday service is seeking out and engaging in meaningful service, not simply doing acts of service to fulfill a school, district, or program requirement or to collect hours. As on society of students, many young teens and young adults at local chapters are required to meet minimum service participation requirements. Although hours are important, everyday service is seeing a need and fulfilling it voluntarily. Sometimes it's driven by a passion for a specific cause or people in need. Other times it's driven by personal or family need, like taking care of siblings or other family members, or maybe even working part-time to help family with finances. Kara? Everyday leadership builds on everyday service. Service and leadership oftentimes is very similar. Everyday leadership is carrying oneself with dignity and taking ownership and responsibility for one's own actions and participation. Being a public speaker, playing quarterback, or having an official title is not required for everyday leadership. Everyday leadership means being an agent, someone who takes action and responsibility of your own pathway. Everyday character is valuing diverse cultures and building relationships that reflect love of self, but also concern for others. 
There are endless attributes of good character. Perseverance, respect, integrity, honesty, sacrifice, the list goes on. Good and noble character is a high calling. Oftentimes we don't see character unless there is a public display of self-sacrifice or more often a very public mistake. Everyday character is not about praiseworthy or blameworthy behavior, but the personal commitment to ethical and compassionate decision making that affects oneself and others. It is our pleasure to announce the current National Honor Society members in attendance this evening. Each candidate will be receiving a medal commemorating their two years of service. Please hold your applause until the end. Patrick Kelly. Kara Mitch, John Giannoni, Gabriella Alessi, Ariana Almeida, John Arganza, Witha Asla, Zara Azim, Zachary Berger, Jessica Bober. Isabella Borsukevich, Taina Busigo, Madison Chiera, Gabriella Chiricolo, Dylan Conklin, Sabrina Casati, Dylan DeCuna, Parth Dangi, Katrina Demkowitz, Jasmine Dollywall, Emma Downs, Andrew Faria, Brooke Feliciano, Sarah Giannoni, Gianna Grasso, Lindsay Gustafson, Abigail Haskell, Michelle Jonathan, Simrandeep Kaur, Mandeep Kaur, Kaiser Karawala, Ritika Kumar, Claudia Malkinski, Shaira Manala, Shravani Main, Eva Mazara, Mihika Merotra, Isabel Miller, Madison Mohan, Aubrey Newman, Alejandro Nowak, Madison Oliveira, Haley O'Neill, Anastasia Paduli, Isha Patel, Jenna Prasad, Cadence Rudenberg, Aaron Ruiz, Rachel Sarang, Matthew Salcedo, Franchu Serene, Om Shah, Raj Shah, Aisha Salat, Jaden Solomon, Sophia Sam, Elizabeth Spiller, Michelle Stankiewicz, Jeffrey Trinka, Nicole Zor, and myself, Joseph Paladino.
We now have the pleasure of introducing the 2023 Colonia High School National Honor Society inductees who will be receiving a pin and membership card in recognition of their induction tonight. Inductees, please come to the stage as we read your names. Ion Alam. Noah Alvarez. Mia Alvarez. Ariana Angel. Anaya Ariema. Joseph Baca. Harmony Barber. Hector Batista. Tripti Bombri. Malia Kalidis. Luke Celebrano. Casey Chiola. Alyssa Cefeli. Luke Pallone. Joseph DeMarco. Taylor Durkak, Sienna DeCosmo, Kelsey D, Angelina Economos, Jaden Espiritu, Sofia Fernandez, Sofia Fonseca, Arian Garawala, Ethan Goko, Kayla Gould, Elias Geraldo, Jaden Jones, Bridget Lavelle, Shayna Luce, Donovan Magallanes, Abigail Malhado, Joseph Maselli, Marco Marple. Andrew Metos, Timothy Matten, Ashley May, Annabelle McAloon, Rita Nadine, Sky Oliveira, Oluwan Efemi, Olufo Wobi, Pari Pari, Jital Pari, Raina Patel, Ashna Patel, Amy Patel, Maya Patino, Joseph Perosi, Ava Panic, Tess Powell, Suchit Rao, Alexa Rocha, Isha Sharma, Gracie Singh, Manur Sohail, Matthew Teixeira, Abigail Terebetsky, Liam Tittle, Melanie Toledo, Kylie Toth, Ange Trevetti, Diego Vargas, Eli Westcott, Tara Bailov, Vidi Nella, Michael Orlowski, and Julia Pegnum. and inductees, please rise and join me in reciting the National Honor Society Pledge. I pledge to uphold the high purpose of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, Please be seated. 
Now it's time to introduce our chapter's advisor. Please welcome Ms. D'Souza. Thank you, Patrick. And thank you to everyone who came to support the fantastic students here tonight. Mr. Pace, Ms. DiChiara, Mr. Sedona, Mr. Treblocker, Ms. Perez, Dr. Massimino, and the entire Colonial High School administration, family, and friends. Thank you for your support. I have been honored to be able to work alongside such amazing students. Students who see the opportunity and seize it. Students who see a need in the community and fill it. On top of the tremendous academic workload that these students have already taken on, the seniors and juniors here tonight truly embody Colonia's commitment, community, and care. One of my favorite mantras is, a candle loses nothing of its light by lighting another candle. And tonight, they are recognized here for being the light in others' lives. The students before you represent the diversity that truly reflects Colonia High School. They have served not only on our immediate, immediate community, but our nation on a whole. From participating in the Rutgers Big Chill, donating to local senior centers, animal shelter, shelters, and our honored veterans to infinite tutoring opportunities, just to name a few. The students here before you all have made an impact on our community. And that is what we emphasize with our National Honor Society chapter, Impact. The students that we are recognizing tonight and the impact that these students have had on making our community an inclusive space that enables all people to shine cannot be overstated. Congratulations, National Honor Society members, on all your accomplishments. Continue to make Colonial High School proud as you shape our future. This concludes our program for this evening. The members of the National Honor Society wish to thank you for joining us in our celebration. We ask one last time that you give a nice round of applause and cheer on the incredible Colonia High School chapter of the National Honor Society's Class of 2023. Congratulations.